Hi guys, Massive Dats here, um, just doing a sort of day zero EGX video, um, this is my third year going to EGX, um, last year I went for all four days, first year in Birmingham, great time, plays uh, great games, uh, this year I plan to go uh, again, only going for three uh, days due to cost of hotel for Saturday night, I hope to see you all there, um, like last year, I didn't do a few press things for Nintendo. Um, last year I did um, more of a blog diary on Nintendo's website directly of, of course that was all written this year I'm taking this laptop which is better than the one I took last year which is quite crummy the webcam is fairly decent on it as you can see um, yeah so I plan to do exactly the same but instead of doing it as written I'm going to do it as a vlog um, you know give it the times still going to be on Nintendo because obviously this is a uh, you know, I want to report back for this uh, site, do um, the press things uh, for the site. Uh, got a few things planned for the first day. Going to uh, play Fallout 4 in, I believe it's Vive, um, so you can play that. But not just regular VR for Fallout 4, but it's um, on the treadmill, the circular treadmill, and you can walk around the wasteland in it. So that's going to be quite cool. That's one of the first things I'm doing in there, and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, I've got so that's what I'm planning, obviously planning to do. But I'm going to talk a bit about the sh uh, show, what's there, and what you expect to look here from me is going to be there. This year is a little bit different than last year. Nintendo was not there, unfortunately. Um, doesn't mean there's not going to be anything there on Nintendo hardware, like an indie developer or something on 3DS or Wii U. Um, some might even hint at NX, so I honestly don't know. Um, but Nintendo themselves are not there, which is a little bit disappointing. Um, really cool to set, uh, play Zelda Breath of the Wild, even if you know on the Wii, uh, Wii U, or even Paper Mario. See what that's like. They're not there. Microsoft are also not there, per se. Uh, last year they had a stand that was like behind the PlayStation 1 sort of thing. Um, they had a great stand last year with a stage. They had one of the producers, the director from Rise of the Tomb Raider, which obviously now is multi format. That's going to actually be there in the Square Enix booth. They showed a Force 6, the Elite controller, a lot of indies, Halo 5, so a lot of great stuff. And you don't think this year Microsoft um, is having a great second half of uh, 2016. You know, Record just come out. Sort of like a six, seven type uh, game, but you know, it's budget price and sort of the game you expect to be a seven. Um, but then they've just had Forza Horizon 3 just come out, their first 90 plus rated game in Microcritic since the Xbox One's launch. Uh, I've played the demo of it, I'm not a big racing fan, and that's excellent. Pre ordered it as soon as I played the, the demo. Now I'm going to have a crew going, so I think you got Gears of War 4. Um, so we've got that's like three big games and obviously indies, whatever, stuff like that. Gears of War 4 will be at the event, it's in the 18 plus zone where the Rainbow Six Siege was last year from the map. Um, yeah, so a little bit twist disappointing that's all they're showing. I don't know if there'll be a stage or whatever, or it's just going to be like a row of 20 TVs, 10 on each side or whatever, or more, well, actually be five and five and two lots of things just for multiplayer. I'm gathering it's going to be multiplayer. Um, show maybe Horde instead of um, you know competitive multiplayer so it's a little bit disappointing Microsoft aren't showing more but the only benefit of those two not being there last year uh, Fallout 4 was shown in the Microsoft uh, booth I know how many screens or whatever they got shared they had to show it off I uh, did not really care about Fallout 4 yeah I'm going to play it in VR because um, I care about VR um, and it's called cool treadmill thing but yeah, that was in the Microsoft book that year. This year, Bethesda's got their own booth, which, you know, let's say Dishonored 2 is going to be uh, showing that, I believe. Um, it's going to give Bethesda more room. Maybe they'll have more screens for Dishonored 2. So the screens are roundabouts. Okay, yeah, we're losing Forza Horizon 3, but we're getting more screens for Dishonored 2. It means less queuing time, whatever. And another one that's also there now is Sega's got a booth now showing Sonic Mania, 
a total war game and things like that. Square Enix has got a booth this year because if you thought about it last year, who was there? You know, Final Fantasy who been tucked in the PlayStation stands. It might even be the PlayStation stands, you know, but now Square's got their own stand. So we've got Final Fantasy 15 there and stuff like that. But we did run through like the map. So from the app on my phone, so I got an app, and that's why we use to look around and see what's going on, where I've got to be for some press things and stuff. But we've got the rest zone, which can have the left field collection, rest uh, rest sessions, team 17, that's the worms guys, ukulele, and things like that. Rest zone, tornado, tornado is the energy drink, they gave out free drinks last year, which was really good. Um, keep, keep going, it's, battle zone's going to be there, which is kind of weird, that's going to be a PlayStation VR game in the rest zone. Uh, so, um, they also got Battlezone Rebellion, they also got the Sniper Elite game, but I think they're mainly focusing on Battlezone. So that's going to be quite cool to play, and most of all the easier PlayStation VR games to go, um, play. Due to uh, PlayStation VR, you had to book in advance, you had to do that last year, they had two times to do it this year, and I missed both times. Last year I managed to play it, no problem, went there the first thing, said could I play, and like give us your number, we'll give you a text who this is available slot. And play this year. I think there's some way more PlayStation VR stuff than last year. I don't know what games are going to be shown on PlayStation VR. Like, I really want to play Resident Evil 7. Everyone says it's excellent in VR. Um, and obviously, I've just launched my new VR um, news um, series. So, anything I can play, um, it's great. But Battlezone looks like. When Battlezone I played last year was kind of a little bit disappointing. Um, that, yeah, I'm going to play PlayStation VR again. And it's going to be Battlezone again. But I can see what happened in the last 12 months. With the te technology, and um, also in the rest of Screen Man Gaming and Payload C, I don't know who they are, unfortunately. Then, Zoom 1 this year, we've got PlayStation, uh, Ryzen will be there, and PlayStation VR. Pro will be there, being the first, I think, European hands on, it might be actually the first hands on in any event, because apart from obviously the um, unveil uh, a few weeks ago. So that'd be interesting. Um, Pro One, if you watch Pro War, um, I'm sort of curious about. I don't have a 4K TV. I've been looking at buying 4K TV, but nothing's really gone. It's not enough content to warrant the purchase um, of getting one, really, at the moment. But obviously, um, things like Jonathan Blow talked about The Witness and what that will be like if you play on standard. HDTV on the Pro, that it will now go at 1080p from 900p, 60 frames a second, better textures or whatever. So I'm really, really hoping they have Pros there set up on 4K TVs and regular t HDTVs, and you can go, ah, okay. So Final Fantasy 15, we know it's a Pro game, for instance, and it's going to be there, and there's going to be the square booth on the PlayStation, and then show. Here's on standard, here's on the pro on standard, HDTV, here's on the pro on 4K TV, and you can go, okay, that's how much it looks better on stand TV, that's what I've got now. If I paid the 350 quid for a pro, that's what I'm um, getting. So, interesting, we also, right, so staying in zone 1, we've got Virgin Media, which I think Destiny's out this year, is it? Virgin Media is not a PlayStation. Sega Booth, Sonic Mania, of course, going to be big. It's got something called Scan, Bethesda, Sonic 2. PC Specialist, NVIDIA, I presume, Square Enix, Final Fantasy 15. We've got Twitch stands, which they broadcast stuff, and you can like play there and broadcast for straight to Twitch or something. We've got Insert Coin, obviously they're going to have clothes and stuff, things like that. And Amazon, yeah. Amazon's got like, a partnership with VGX this year where you can use your phone and pre order games like, right there and then. Um, so you go to the stand and like, scan like the game you're playing, stand or something. So it's interesting. So we've two got Jafinity, then what that is, board games, War Child, your, your class, Tornado again, the Games Code, Little Nightmares, that's the new Namco sort of indie published sort of game. That they're also trying their indie game but not indie game, a bit like Ubisoft with Child of Light and Square with Life is Strange. And they're not indies but they are sort of thing. Um yeah, so that's their special effects, Syndicate, Overwatch is there. But why? It's, you know, Destiny can kind of get because Rise of Rise just come out and last year it was there, Taken King just come out, you played it, you got free costumes and stuff like that. But Overwatch has been out, I know it's a huge game, but it's been out for a pretty long time. 
unless it's like free costumes or something, if, if I can go there and get some free co costume or code for a loot box or something, yeah, you know, that's pretty cool. Now, Mafia 3, theatre, it's not actually playable, it's just one of those theatre, EGS merch stands, fight zones, so Street Fight 5, don't do any Key Chase 17, there wasn't, I don't think that was there in the last year, 2k games, so that's there. Attack and 7, and a cosplay stand. Zone 3, we're going to have developer session, theatre is there, catering, yeah, so that's that, retro, uh, career fair, FIFA 17, yeah, FIFA 17 this year, last year was at the Xbox, PlayStation, and virtual media stand, this year I think it's got its own stand, and the Premier League trophy will be there. So, um, yeah, I kind of went around around City Shrub, and then I, so, you know, just get, you know, picture next to the trophy with that on, so it's kind of cool, but, yeah, so sort of don't really want to wear it all day, just in case you get some stick, um, and something. Minecraft's going to be there, and Games Library, I don't know what that is, and then over 18 section, we've got Titanfall 2, Battlefield 1, you know, self partial Truth with the, you know, the smelly rift thing, and um, we've got Gears of War 4, so not as much in the over 18 uh, section as well. So, yeah, it's a big one, it seems to be less people there, but the people that are there are showing more, if that makes sense. Like, you look at the list of games you've got, like, I'm interested, obviously, Dishonored 2, Dragon Quest Builders. See, this is the thing, like, last year I played Dragon Quest Heroes, Square had one, like, I think it was like one bloke with like two TVs just before we got to the over 18 section, so it's like a wall, and then in front of the wall was this uh, stand, and he was like really, really pleased to see me, um, because everyone was just walking right past him, going straight to the 18 stand, so then I like sat down and he was like, oh cool, um, it must have been like, I must have been like the first person to play the game all day, and that's all Square had, you see it, they got a whole booth, um, so yeah, so if you're a fan of Square games, you play so Dragon Quest Builders, uh, FIFA 17, like I said, I want to see you due to the Premier League trophies being there. Uh, Final Fantasy 12, the Zodiac Games, just a HD remaster. Uh, Final Fantasy 15, Gears of War 4, Grand Tourism Sport. Sport. See, Grand Tourism Sport, I think it's going to be shown in VR. Um, that'd be cool. Hitman. I've not played the Hitman games. And what I say games, um, I'm talking about the new one. Man, this episode's not played any of them. I'm not really sure about it, so yeah, the meter Horizon Zero Dawn. That's a, that is sort of like the big game of the show. I um, with you know, with no Zelda there, you, know, you got to think that will get the war for the big games. Um, so it's pretty interesting. Kingdom Hearts 2.8. Um, Final Chapter Prologue is going to be there. Um, Kingdom Hearts. I quite like the Kingdom Hearts um, um, games, like Disney, like Final Fantasy. So that's going to be interesting. Um, like I said, Little Nightmares is going to be there, the weird indie that's not an indie um, type game. What is it, two Raiders there again? Yeah, like I said, I was there last year, played the Xbox booth, this year's at the Square booth, showing on PlayStation PlayStation 4. I don't know if they're just going to show the campaign or the VR stuff or any of the other bonus um, thing. Sonic Mania, South Park, Tales of Viseria, Tekken 7. World of Final Fantasy, so if you like your RPGs and stuff like that, it's actually going to be quite a pretty good year. And that's just in the games, and then you got the rest. Um, I get that's time for to work. Rest. Rest Zone has got like tons, it must be a hundred games this year. Most of them I've not heard of, but like I said, Ukulele's going to be there, Y2K, Valhalla. Hope they're showing that. We reviewed that on Nintendo. Uh, and we um, Luke really liked it. I'm waiting for the Vita version. Because every game is better on Vita, if one knows uh, that. But I think this might be wrong, because I'm pretty sure um, that the guys from Hue are going to be there, showing off Hue, and that's not listed here. Um, so, it'd be interesting. And like Green Man Gaming showing off the Bunker, but also Wells Interactive Games. So I don't know if there's any others of theirs going to be there. Um, just think it's just seeing if there's any big other indies that uh, pop up. That you might have heard of. Hmm. Doesn't really look like it. But then, like with the Indies, like last year, I never heard of that. Valhalla. 
it's like so right for this to really get him really good and I also met last year one of the games I backed on Kickstarter Snow Apps um oh, I can't even remember what the game Severed no not Severed Sword or oh, something sword I can't even remember the game I backed that's how bad how many games I've backed then obviously the left field collection which I have no idea what any of that is um, then you obviously got the sessions, so you got the um, developer sessions, the rest uh, sessions. Um, see, like this one called How to Launch, How Not to Launch Your Game. There's the cosplay uh, things, the career things. The sessions this year seem to be not as great. Last year, I think Mike Biffle was there, Shuhei Yoshida was there, and this year it seems to be like. Yeah, I mean, there's a sign up to play Tekken 7 tournament. Um, but yeah, this year there doesn't seem to be looking at who's there. Like there's an Overwatch tournament. I'd see. Like there's there's developer session for this one too, so that could be uh, interesting. And there's one for Horizon Zero Dawn. So yeah, it could be some interesting st um, stuff. But I will keep you guys um, email updated, so tomorrow I'll tell you what I've played tomorrow. And then, you know, going forward. Um, last year I tried to do day one, like PlayStation, day two, Xbox, day three, Nintendo, day four, like the indies. But now, obviously, we found Microsoft and Nintendo to be um, similar, but a little bit different. So, it might be mainly PlayStation stuff tomorrow. I've actually got a lot of uh, press things to do with the indie um, section, so it could be a lot of indie tomorrow. But anyway, thanks for watching, and stay tuned for future updates.